Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed today that I am in a slightly different location and that is because I'm going to be sharing a peek into our nursery now that it's all finally come together. We are really happy with how the space has turned out. For me, especially because I thought I would be spending quite a bit of time in here, I wanted it to be a room that felt really relaxing but also that had a lot of elements in terms of the styling details from the rest of our house because we wanted it to be quite cohesive. So it is actually very gender neutral. Neutral. We do know the sex of our baby, but it's just kind of what's worked out for us. So yeah, what I'm going to do is show you around the entire room. I'm also going to talk through why we decided to buy certain things and where we got everything from. And I will leave links for everything down below. Um, I did purchase everything with my own money. Nothing was gifted for anyone who is curious. So uh, yeah, it's been a labor of love finding all of these items, but I just think it's come together really beautifully. So I don't want to ramble on too much more. So so what I'm going to do is give you a bit of a pan around the room and then just go through each section bit by bit. as soon as you enter the nursery is this dresser which doubles up as a change table. Because this room is very compact we really wanted to make sure that every single piece of furniture in here was thoughtfully considered and had a real purpose so being able to double this up as a change table has really helped to really effectively utilize the space. Um, I went for the Hemnes dresser, I believe it's called. This is the one with the three large drawers and I have actually changed the handles. I just bought some off Amazon to customize it. I thought that it would make it feel a little bit more unique and less like it's just an Ikea piece of furniture. And on the inside, what I have done is I have used the IKEA organizational cubes, which I find fantastic. And they have been really useful in terms of separating all of the different sized items of clothing because I have purchased things for almost an entire year. Uh, I've also got some nappies, uh, things for nappy changes and stuff like that down the end. On the top, you'll see that we've got our change mat. This is from Leander and this was a bit of a splurge, I will say. But the thing that really appealed to me about this was the fact that it is really nice and soft, very spongy, but it also doesn't require any sort of covering on it and it is completely wipeable. So if it gets messy or dirty, all you have to do is wipe it clean. So very, very convenient, very fuss free. <laughs> that was something I was looking for. Uh, in the background, you will see that we've got a vase there at the moment. I just popped that there for now. I think realistically, I'm probably going to have bamboo caddy there with more essentials that I need but for now I just popped that there and I do have some pampas grass coming so that'll be in there. Uh, we've also got a buzzy bee which if you aren't a kiwi then you probably will not be familiar with the buzzy bee but it is an iconic toy and when Luke and I were talking about the toys that we wanted for our baby the first thing that we both said that we needed was a buzzy bee and coincidentally my sister bought this for us as a gift. It's an all blacks limited edition version so right up Luke Street. <laughs> if you've got any doubt about which team our baby will be supporting it's going to be the all blacks. Um, not that I'm a big rugby head but <laughs> So it's very, very cute. Uh, then on the wall above that, uh, we've got a picture in a frame. Now, I believe this picture is from Decenio. I did a partnership with them a number of years ago. I've done a couple. Uh, and this was one of the ones, actually, I think this is probably the only print that Luke liked. And I find it really calming. So it's one of those things, you know, when baby's crying and you're changing baby, you can kind of look up there and just think about getting away to the beach. It's sort of a little bit of a mini escape. The frame it's in is from Ikea as well. And you will probably see on the floor next to the chest of drawers, we do have a Moroccan style uh, poof. I purchased this from Kmart and it's really good value for money actually. It's very, very affordable. And I got this as a bit of a footrest. For now, I've just popped it in the corner. I'm not really sure how it's going to work in this space. Maybe that it gets moved into another room in the house, but I've got it just in case I need it. I have left the rocket in here for now. It will probably live in our living room, but I did want to share this with you because I just think it is absolutely beautiful and I really love the functionality of it as well. This is from Charlie Crane and it was a gift from my grandparents and it's just absolutely beautiful. I really like the fact that you can 
take the fabric seat out and launder it if you need to, which is definitely going to be something I'm sure we're going to need to do more than once, I suspect, <laughs> based on what I've been told. But uh, yeah, I just thought that this was a really lovely item. I like the fact that baby can be sitting in there and just rock themselves to sleep through their own movements. You can also just rock it really easily by pu pushing it with your foot. Then shifting around to the opposite wall, you'll see we've got our cot here and there's also a really lovely giraffe, which I'm calling Harold. If you ever did life education at school in New Zealand, then you'll probably remember Harold the giraffe. Uh, the giraffe is from Kmart actually, again, and such a great find. We did a bit of a baby celebration, I would say it was guys and girls and we didn't play any kind of pregnancy games. We just had cake and antipesto and non-alcoholic and alcoholic punch. So it was a lot of fun, but one of our friends, they've got a wee one and he had, uh, I think he knocked into something and then brought him in here. As soon as he saw the giraffe, he stopped crying. So I feel like it's already been a great purchase, but it just really adds an element of fun to the room, bit of playfulness. Um, so the cot that we ended up going for is again from Leander. And I have to say that finding a really nice cot was something that I found personally really difficult. You've either got really affordable options or you've got really expensive ones. And this is definitely more on the expensive end of the spectrum. However, there are a few things that ended up making me decide to go for it. So I was looking at the IKEA cot, which We've got friends who have it and they say it's great. But the thing that put me off was that it's made from a softwood and I really wanted to get a hardwood cot. Uh, this one in particular, I really like the color of it. It's a really beautiful light oak and it actually can be transformed and used a few different ways. So it goes from being a cot for a baby to a toddler bed and then you can also actually take the side off and then it can turn into a couch as well. You just get these cushions that sit around the sides, which I thought would be really neat for in a kid's room when they're a little bit older. So <laughs> I love the fact that it is really functional and that it can transition throughout the stages of your child's life. So that was one of the things that really ended up drawing us to this in the end. And Luke really loved it when it arrived. He said I did a really good job picking it out. So uh, really, really pleased with it. In terms of what we've got on here, this cushion isn't going to stay here, but this is just from Temple and Webster. I'm probably going to pop that in the lounge. The bedding is a linen sheet. I think I bought it from a company called Wildflower and Ivy. I'm not 100% sure, but I will leave a link to where I got it from in the description box below. They had loads of other beautiful colors, but I just went for a simple oatmeal. The blanket that I've got on the side here is a gift from one of my girlfriends, and unfortunately, I don't know the brand of where it is from. Uh, looking at the floor in the room, I've gone for a really lovely sort of Moroccan style rug. I know cream rugs are probably not the most practical to have in a baby's room, but I just felt like it really lightened up the space. Because there's only one window in this room and it's on the side of the house, which means that it doesn't get any direct sunlight. I wanted to make sure that the elements that we had in here would really help to brighten it up and make it seem less dark because like right now I do have the light on to kind of make sure that you guys can see me. <laughs> yeah, the rug I got from Temple and Webster and it was really affordable, especially for a rug of this size. It's a cotton rug and it's got a really lovely feel to it under the feet. I, I'm currently not wearing any shoes and it just feels really lovely. It does have a bit of a knotted texture for the black line design on it. Behind me we've got one of my favorite things in this room which is a piece of art that we had commissioned by a local artist called Ben Tankard and we requested this with this color scheme so uh, he's actually amazing. I'm gonna make sure that his blue thumb profile is linked below in case you have been looking for something like this. But 1984 is one of my favorite books. It's also one of Luke's favorite books and we thought it would be a bit of a joke which will give you a good look into our sense of humor to put it above the cot so uh, yeah I just really love it and I think it just ties in really nicely as well with the very minimal color palette that we've got going on in this room and directly below that we've got a little black side table this is just again from Ikea and I believe this is the replacement style for the froster stool I really like it I actually think I prefer it more to the froster style because it's got the slightly more angular design uh, in the black it's really beautiful very minimal on top of that, the moment, we've just got a little lamp. This is from a company, I think it's called Milk and Sugar. I bought it from Design Stuff because they were having a sale. So I'm not 100% sure 
uh, the brand, but absolutely love it and it gives a really nice soft light so I thought it would be good for in the evenings when I am nursing at you know 2 or 3 a.m. <laughs> to give me a little bit of light so I'm not sitting here in darkness. Then to probably one of the biggest investment pieces in this room and actually I'm looking at doing push presents or anything like that but I would say that this is a push present to myself. <laughs> I love this chair so much. It is one of the low life armchairs from MCM House. I've been wanting to buy one of these for around four years but they are incredibly expensive and I had gone in, I sat in them, I knew how comfortable they were and I just thought that they were such beautiful armchairs and I decided since we were looking for an armchair for the nursery that now was the time to treat myself. I actually managed to get it for 25% off as they were having a sale around the time that I placed my order so I got really lucky with the timing but it may not look it but it is just because it is so deep and so wide it is incredibly comfortable. I don't have to worry about my arms knocking on the sides at all. Uh, essentially when I'm sitting in there my arms don't even go anywhere near the sides <laughs> and I like the fact that you can very easily take the covers off if you need to clean them and it does come in other colours as well. Luke likes this chair so much and it's so comfortable that he wants to get a second one to go in our lounge room so uh, I'm, that makes me really happy about the purchase. The cushion that we've got on here is just a dark green velvet cushion. This is from Nobody, Nobody Knows and I got that from Smallable actually and I just thought that that just adds a really nice little bit of extra colour into this room because as you can see it's very sort of minimal and neutral otherwise. I also just thought I would show you the final wall in the room which is actually acting as a bit of an off-season storage space for me right now for some of my clothes and my knitwear. Uh, originally when we first moved into the house, when we bought the house, there was a cupboard here. However, it was broken and we needed to rip it out anyway so that we could paint the entire room. And it took us a really long time to replace it because it just wasn't a priority. Uh, when we found out we were pregnant, I sort of said to Luke we needed to sort it out just so that the room was finished. So we got the Alvari system from Ikea and we really like it. It's great because it's got loads of storage so handy for tucking any other additional baby items that we need to in here. So yeah, that is sort of the final piece in this room but this part is definitely not baby related. <laughs> so that is a look into the nursery that we've put together. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you are expecting I hope you got some ideas. Congratulations as well and all the best on your pregnancy journey. Uh, as I mentioned I will link where we bought everything from down in the description box below and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you then. Bye!